Hello Duelists and welcome back to the Crown Corp channel, my name is Bram and today it's time for another project update so I'm going to show you everything that's new in the Smart Duel Disc, the Smart Duel Gazer and I've also got a special surprise for you so make sure to keep watching this video until the end. First things first, the Smart Duel Disc has a new app icon, it matches the Smart Duel Gazer icon and it was designed by Mr. Clifford so thank you very much and if you ever see him on Discord make sure to say hi. Then if we head over to the dual screen and you click Speed Dual Demo, you'll now see that you'll get the choice between using the Yuki deck and the Kaiba deck. So we finally added uh, the Kaiba deck both to the dual disc and to the Gazer. I'm going to show you the 3D models for all the monsters when we're going to talk about the dual Gazer. But first, when you enter the dual screen, you'll see that the field also had a small update. So the monster zones now also support defense position uh, and it's now possible to summon monsters, set monsters, flip them. Uh, and you can also activate or set spell cards. So we've added support for phase up, phase down, attack and defense position. We've also added support for tokens, now you can summon them in attack and defense position. Uh, you can set them, you can move them to the hand or to the graveyard to the banished zone, but you can destroy them. Currently it's not possible to customize a token, so it'll always be the sheep token, but it's the cutest one anyway. A lot of work has been done in the Smart Dual Disc and we're still trying to implement all those changes in the Dual Gazer as well. But something I can already show you are all the models for the Kaiba deck that we've added, so I'm just going to show them to you right now. We're currently hard at work to also add spells and trap cards and also the card positions. The person who's mainly working on that right now is Subtle Dragon. I also want to give you a shout out because you've been helping a lot on the Smart Dual Gazer recently. So if you ever see Subtle Dragon on Discord, also make sure to say hi to him. One more thing I'd like to talk about because I get a lot of questions about it is the iOS version of the applications. I've been doing some thinking lately and it's very likely that Apple won't allow us to publish the app in the App Store because we don't have the right to use the Yu-Gi-Oh cards or the 3D models that are ripped from games. So something that we're looking into right now is adding web support. This means that you wouldn't have to install the app via the App Store on iOS but you can just download the app via Safari. It's still very experimental, but it is very important to us that iOS users will also be able to enjoy the Smart Dual project. Then last but not least, you know that we've been working on a Smart Dual disc with virtual cards for a while now. And one of the people who's working on a physical dual disc is Zeke Streetman, he's known as Beanboy on Discord. And yeah, he has a very cool concept for a physical dual disc. He created a video explaining all the technical details. I'll leave a link in the description. Make sure to check it out because it is very interesting. It's really nice to see that a lot of people in the community are taking initiative to create a physical dual disc, which is really great because I'm focusing on a dual disc which allows you to use virtual cards. Other people are working on ones that use physical cards. And in the end, we will all be able to play together. So yeah, I think it's really nice that it gives the players the choice to duel the way they like. It's, it's really interesting. That's all I have for you today. Make sure to check out Zeke's video. The link is in the description. 
Also make sure to follow us on Twitter and join our Discord server if you haven't already to stay up to date with the latest news and information. We're working hard to make the changes that we've added in the Smart Dual Disc to the Smart Dual Gazer. And the next big thing that we're going to look into is multiplayer support. And I think that is the last thing that we actually need to create a first playable version. Which is also very exciting, we're getting very close. I hope you liked this video, if you have any questions don't hesitate to ask them in the comments down below or on Discord. And that's all I have for you today, so thank you for watching and I hope to see you in the next video.